you know, we started this deal, I guess it was what, December 17th, and we had about four of us in here, and, and the rest of them came a little bit later on. But our deal is we sat down with the staff, first thing we said is, guys, let's make sure we, number one, that as we go on the road, let's make sure we, we sign guys or we recruit guys that we know we can win this conference with. That was the ultimatum that I gave them and that they knew we had to do. And and I thought going in, I know the first year we went to the University of Florida, I think we signed 12 guys. Where's uh, Zach or Sean's not here right now. I think it was 12 we ended up with. That's all we could find. That being said, I think we've signed 23 in this class, and we feel every one of them we can win this conference with. It went a lot better than expected, and uh, and just the response. And, the, and you know, I, I'm going to thank a lot of these people in this next thing coming up. But... Uh, you know, the work that, you know, Donnie Jones and that basketball team and the fans and being able to go in that stadium and, or in that uh, arena for those two Saturday games were unbelievable for our recruiting. You walk in there and the maniacs are going crazy, the fans are going crazy, and, and those kids walk in there, that's big time. And, uh, again, you know, publicly I'm going to thank those fans a little bit later on, the maniacs, but uh, the fans and the, the arena and Donnie Jones and that basketball team were a great, great part of, of this recruiting class. We tried to send the guys where they had great familiarity with the they'd been in the areas, they knew the kids. I mean, for us to go, uh, you know, somewhere right now that, you know, we're probably we're going to do a great job recruiting Ohio. That being said, we didn't have a whole lot of ties other than Mike uh, Cassidy had a few ties in one part of Ohio, but that's going to be a big em emphasis on us in the future. I think also New Jersey and New York's been a good, uh, is going to be a, a big emphasis for us in the future. However, that being said, you know, we didn't have any ties in there at this point. So the majority of our ties with, with Coach Peterson, Coach Legg, uh, Jawan, myself, Mike, you know, we have a lot of ties in South Florida and east coast of Florida. And, and Sean Cronin, you got here, Sean, right? With, uh, Sean had great ties when he was at the University of Florida with me up through Gainesville and in that area. So we went where the players are. That being said, you know, we had great success down there. Now, I don't, I'm not sure that's what we want to do every year. I mean, I want to go into Ohio and sign players. I want to go into Kentucky and get a few. I think George is an area that can be great to us. Tony and I rode around for two days in there. Now, the only thing about that, you're, you're, you're riding around in a car for about four hours trying to find kids. But that southern Georgia area can be a great area for us, I think. So, you know, we're going to sit down as a staff uh, in the next couple of days and, and really talk about what areas we want to target. But that, you know, we tried to get into areas that, that we knew where the players were, that guys had familiarity with, and, uh, and, and targeted those guys. And, and I think it's worked for us. You know, Marshall's got great tradition. I mean, you go out there, and I wouldn't, you know, I mean, you get here and you, but you go out and you hear people talk about the Chad Pennington and Randy Mosses and, and talk about Bobby Pruitt and Jim Donnan winning championships and Mark Gale won a bunch of championships here in the in Phil in the uh, in the 90s. I mean, people understand out there, Marshall had the winning program in college football in the 90s and early 2000s, and, uh, you know, we're selling that. But kids know that. I mean, they recognize Chad. They recognize Randy. They recognize... Uh, not Phil Rath. In fact, nobody recognized you, Phil. I mean, they all know. I couldn't understand. I said, well, hell, I kept waiting on him to mention Phil. He never did. But uh, but the Mike Bartrams and Troy Browns and all those guys. But, uh, you know, it's, we got a great name out there. And, you know, what? we've got we to expand on that. And what Donnie Jones is doing with the basketball team right now. And, uh, you know, we got to keep growing. And uh, it, I mean, it's exciting. It really is. Was it an easy sell? I mean, you know, we ended up with 23 kids in the length of time we had. So, uh, you know, it, and the fans and, and the basketball and all that put together, I thought it was it went tremendous. I'm really, really, really excited about it. You know, I get I get a kick out of the uh, of the ratings and the rivals and all that, the one stars and five stars and three stars and all that. You know, I, I'm, and I'm gonna tell that group I'm getting ready to speak to here in a little bit. Watch them on tape. You know, I mean, Notre, got Notre, Notre Dame lost a lot, of, got a lot of good coaches. Or not a lot of good coaches. A lot of guys got fired at Notre Dame because all they recruited was five star guys. They lined up and played. They couldn't play. You know, I think the one thing that we tried to do here as a staff in the last three or four weeks is we, we worked our tail off evaluating tape. I mean, we watch them on film, and when you turn that film on, can they play or can't they play? That's, that's the, you know, everybody recruits guys off combines and stars and this and that, and they get their tails beat on Saturdays. You know, we want guys out there that, that when you turn the film on, number one, they love football, they love to play the game, and they make plays. They're good football players. And, uh, you know, when people recruit on combines and heights and weights and vertical jumps and 40 times, you turn the film on, they can't play. That's a bad deal. So. I think the one thing this staff, and I got great staff guys, they're not only great great coaches, they can recruit, but they can evaluate talent. And uh, we spent hours and hours and hours, I can't tell you how long Mark Gale may be able to, but in the last three weeks of evaluating tape, looking at it over and over and over again and asking one question, can we win the conference with this guy? And if the answer was yes, we took him. If it wasn't, we went on to the next school. So um, I think to answer your question, you want to, you want guys, you want football players. And you know, we're not running track. You want guys that can make plays and love the game. You know, we felt like offensive line, we need to sign a few kids, we got four. Uh, you know, we, saw, we talked about the Mike had said, you know what, we need some depth of safety. I think we went out there, we feel we got three or four guys there that can play that position that we would feel good about. And uh, I think from then on, we said, we had, you know, we needed a young quarterback. Uh, 
we got that guy named Sullivan, and we tried to meet certain needs. But after we got to that certain point, we say let's go get the best possible player that we can. And I, and I think that being said, I think that's that's what we ended up doing. I think a kicker was a guy that uh, you know we felt that you know we needed a guy that uh, the kicker was gone from a year ago. We weren't quite sure what we have on campus. And we have a couple guys who's going to compete for the job, but we felt we needed to go out there and find a guy. I'd had him in camp. We'd seen Juwan and I'd seen him kick live. You know, he's in a tough couple, tough situations down in the playoffs where he kicked a couple game-winning field goals to win the game for that team that won the state championship, American Heritage. So uh, we felt we needed to get a guy there, and we did. So I think we met a lot of the needs that uh, that we felt we had to. But then other than that, we just tried to go get the best players we could. I've hired a great staff. A lot of the kids that decommitted were, were tight with this guy sitting right here is the reason they came here. I mean, uh, you know, Jawan Sider and Tony Peterson and Mike Cassidy, they had a great relationship with uh, with Eddie Sullivan along with myself. So, you know, uh, you know that, that Chisholm, the same deal. Juwan went to Belgrade High School where the kid's from. Same thing with Pickett to Pahokee and Belgrade. So there's all relationships that are prior to us getting here that those kids that did decommit, they knew we were here now. They had an interest in us. They came here and ended up committing to us. So, you know, that happens. You know, it's not just they just didn't decommit to come to Marshall. You look at the thing today, I saw where Tennessee lost a couple, Alabama lost a couple, and people all over the country, that's happening. That's just the way it is right now. And, 30 years, I can't remember I can't remember one year in 30 years that somebody didn't break my heart on signing day. I mean, it's, it's just going to happen. Before my man, poor Juwan, was pulling his hair, I said, Juwan, just get used to it, man. You're going to get it every year, you know what I mean? But every year, somebody. And I think if you're on the right guys and you're recruiting the right people, then every year you're going to lose them. And if you're losing them to Illinois and you're losing them to South Florida, then chances are you're recruiting the right guys. And uh, next year, you know what, we're going to be sitting here saying the same thing. I didn't, I didn't hire one guy I didn't know a lot about. You know, I've known, I've known, I've known these guys right here. I'm, again, they're, that's the best staff in the country right there, guys. I tell guys all the time, I've been very fortunate in this business to recruit, to, to uh, coach at three great places, this being the fourth. I've been on a lot of great staffs. I was a staff, good staff at West Virginia. I was on a great staff at NC State with Norm Chow and, and all those guys won a bunch of games, went to Florida, won a national title with Urban Meyer. I can honestly sit here and look you guys in the eye and tell you this is the best staff I've ever been on. Number one, they're great people. They're going to do a great job off in the community. Number two, they're great recruiters and they're great coaches. They have the same philosophy I've got. All right, they're going to be very involved in these kids' lives. They're going to be in the dorms. They're going to be, be in their homes. They're going to do the things I ask them to do. And they're just good people. They, and they're great coaches. I mean, Billy, that guy right there, they led the Big Ten in total offense two years he was there. In total offense, passing offense, and scoring offense two years he was at Purdue. I talk to Chad Pennington all the time. Chad, Chad is, Chad's become a real – I mean, no, no, he hadn't become. He's, he's – He's the guy that's the face of this program right now. He credits that guy right there for his NFL career every time I talk to him, Tony Peterson, what he did with him while he was here. So, and I can go on and on. The guys we signed, number one, our strength coach will, will get him a program. Uh, these guys will be on the phone with him all week. You know, it's one thing to sign them. What's important is how many of them are here in August. You know, you got a lot of guys out there that sign a great class, and, and, and August shows up, shows up, 12 of them get on campus. It's important to us that we get all 23 guys here. And, uh, and I think with you know with the, I think all 23 of them have a great shot of being here. I mean, I heard I heard some things out there about props and all that. We don't we don't think any of these guys are going to be props. To be honest with you, I mean that's not what we signed them for. So it's these guys' jobs and my job to make sure number one these guys all get qualified, which we will. And there's a lot of great students in this bunch. I mean, I can go down the line. There's probably two thirds of them are excellent, excellent students. So uh, we're excited about that. But the off season is going to be very, very important to us. You know, you win football, but the most important guy I hired on the staff is a strength coach. He's not here because he's got these guys over working right now, Frank Perano. I mean, he's the best. There's a reason the University of Florida is the winningest team in college football the last four years. It's not, do they got great players? Yeah, they got great players. They recruit great players. But you know what it is? It's what they did in the strength program. It's what they did in the off season. That's what we got to get done here. Frank has got to do a great job. Uh, Joe's done a great job as his assistant. So, you know, we're going to be very involved with the strength program, getting these guys going there. And, uh, and we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot. I told those guys the first time I met them, I said, how many of you guys won a championship? You know how many hands went up? How many hands went up? You guys know the answer. Zero. Zero. I ask these guys, how many championships? Raise your hand if you won championships. All of them. Got a couple of national championships. I said, you better listen to what we have to tell you, because we're going to tell you how to win. We're going to tell you how to win. You guys have no clue. So that we're in the process right now of teaching these guys how to win football games. And part of that's a strength program. We get involved in their lives getting in their dorms, getting in their houses, and making sure they're doing the right thing in the classroom. Because there's direct correlation, guys, on how they, how they conduct themselves off the field and, and what happens on the field. If it's fourth and one, next year we got to go beat that team up north, I'm going to make sure I can count on them. I'm going to make sure I can count on them. And that's, that's what we got to do in the offseason, make sure we get that done.
What do you think about Eddie? I mean, he's, he's a trip, isn't he? Man, Eddie. Eddie doesn't like for confidence, and I love that. I love it. I mean, he's a – you know what? The most important thing about a quarterback is the intangibles. You know, and Tony knows this more than I do, but, you know, it's so important for that guy to have the, the leadership skills, um, you know, living right, doing right. When he walks down the hill, he looks you in the eye, and all those other ten guys, they know you're going to find a way to win that football game. That's what Tim Tebow had. That's what Chris Leak had. That's what Pat White had. That's what Philip Rivers had. That's what all the great ones – and they how, how far they throw it or how pretty they look is because they have the intangibles. And I think this kid does. I really do. I mean, I, mean, I, he, I could tell you some stories on him already, but he's a, you guys are going to love him now. i got to probably watch what he says sometimes, but he's a, he's a great kid. Anybody, we'd, we'd love, I love what, when I was a walk-on. I think it's great. And uh, walk-ons are a great part of your program. And uh, there's been some, there's a lot of great players out there. A lot of players out there that become walk-ons end up contributing to the football team. But uh, you know, anybody out there that we think can help us win, we'd love to have them. And we'll have a great walk-on program here. We'll do a great job evaluating them. And if they can help us and they're great kids and want to be a part of that program, we'd sure love to have them. There's some kids out there. I think. I mean, there's. Gosh, I don't have any from just. There's a kid from Southridge we signed, uh, Kelson, Jermaine Kelson. It's really. You guys need to watch him on tape sometime. He's exciting. He's really a good little player, and uh, he's exciting. Uh, you know, the Jazz Kings of the world. I thought we, I thought we signed some great skill guys. You know, uh, uh, Gator. You watch Gator, the kid that uh, that we signed out of Harold Hoskins out of Gainesville. That uh, Sean signed. He may be a surprise guy of the class. You know, thing thing that we've got going here, guys, is we got great relationships with a lot of great programs. The University of Florida. Uh, you know, Urban and I are good friends, but but. Sean has good good ties with the recruiting guys. Florida thought that, that Hoskins was an SEC player. They were close to taking him. I mean, he's he's that kind of guy. We were hoping like heck that nobody else found out about him. Now he had a couple other visits. That being said, he took a couple of visits. But he's a you watch him on tape now. He's he's exciting. So you know we've got some guys that uh, out there. Demetrius Evans from Belglade. You know we, we watched him. And he's the kind of a guy we took late, but. I know, and the reason we took him was because Mike Cassidy and Juwan Sider went and watched him play basketball. And there was three guys on that court that we were recruiting, Chisholm being one, and someone, another kid that signed elsewhere, and uh, and Demetrius Evans. And that kid was the best athlete on the on the court. And you can tell a lot about a kid on the basketball court. And he was a captain of the football team. He was captain of the basketball team. He just played two years of football. If he'd been playing since he was ninth grade, probably everybody in the country would be after him. But he's a he's a he's a he's a you know tremendous athlete that we're excited about. So. There's a lot of those kids, uh, you know, uh, Chisholm is a kid that, that's t talented, really talented. So, uh, you know, we're excited about them all. And, uh, you know, I don't know how many of them will end up playing this year, but there's, uh, there's a lot of kids that are going to be given the opportunity to come in and show us what they can do. Here's the issue you have. The problem you got is the hardest place to come in and help are the other line the D-lines. Now, that being said, Randy Richards is an older guy who's a couple years older than the high school guys, so he's more physically, he's a little stronger. You know, so he's got a chance, but that's a hard, you know, Billy talked to Billy and talked to Sean, the guys that coach that position. We've all coached football for a long time and very, very seldom do you ever have a young guy or a, come in and, and help you with the offensive and defensive lines. So that's, that's, that's why I said it's so important that we really do a great job of, of developing and, and Billy's got his hands full of getting the offensive line that we have right right here on campus ready to go. We got to really really do a great job with that bunch. Well, all you got to do is watch Eddie on film and 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 what we're going to do and 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 with Bill and he, he fits perfect for it. He he can move. He's got great feet. Uh, I I tell him all the time, and I'm not just just trying to sell him. He, he's got that same kind of throwing motion that. Uh, Drew Brees had. I, I got to see him a couple years in, in college at Purdue, and he's just a very accurate passer. Moves his feet well, can run, and, and uh, he's got a great personality. You guys are going to love him. First of all, very fortunate to, to be here and be a part of the herd, and so thankful that Coach Holiday was was able to have enough confidence in me to keep me on board and and to still be a part of this thing. And very blessed for that. Uh, I had a little bit of an advantage because I, the kids we signed that that I was able to recruit. Uh, were, were players that I'd been on since their junior years. So a lot of these coaches came in. They came from other programs a little bit further behind, like Coach said. But I was blessed to be able to have the, the same players I've been recruiting for eight, ten months. So that, that definitely was an advantage. But, you know, we, we feel very good about the players that, that we've signed in my area. But it, you know, it was a little bit of an advantage, advantage for me. The thing with Florida is so different in a place else. Florida is about relationships. You know, as a player, a coach, someone in that community, 
And a lot of times you get the right person on your side, they're going to help push kids to you because they know you're going to treat the kids right. You know, like Coach always talking about relationship and honesty. I thought we can go get some players. You know, the thing is, you know, you got Coach Holiday been doing it for 30 years. You know, my job when I went down at a recruit was easy because not only Coach Holiday, you had Coach Cassidy who did some groundwork. Coach Peterson did some groundwork. And, you know, everybody being unselfish and saying, hey, this is where you need to go, this is where you need to go, on top of the guys that we knew before we got here that, you know, maybe we didn't get at the other school we was at, but was close enough or good enough to play for the school we were previous at. So those are the kids that we really targeted hard to see if we can go in there and try to pull them and maybe convince a couple to change their mind and come give us a shot. And, you know, those kids bought in. Like Coach always said, the tradition in Marshall, you know, you'd be amazed how much that movie helped you, you know. Watching those kids play in high school, you know, every, the biggest word was as for a wide receiver and a skilled player was, I'm going to moss you. So everybody knew Randy Moss just because of that one slogan. So, you know, they knew about Marshall. So.